musings and other nonsense, whimsical stories, poems, and songs for children. Written and read by Peter G. Reynolds and Griffin Reynolds. That's me. And me. This podcast would not be possible without your support. Please visit buymeacoffee.com to donate or become a member. This episode is called Future Me. I looked in the mirror one morning, and I couldn't believe my eyes. On the other side of the mirror stood a man that was twice my size. I had never seen him before, but he didn't feel like a stranger. And since he was on the opposite side, I wasn't in any real danger. His hair was gray at the edges. His eyes were bleary and red. His stomach stuck out just over his belt. He was certainly very well fed. He was looking rather exhausted when he suddenly let out a yawn. Inside his mouth, I saw his teeth were brown or rotten or gone. His chin was hairy with stubble. His arms were flabby and thin. Funny, I thought. He looks like me. Or perhaps I look like him. Okay, this is getting quite silly. This must be some kind of joke. I started to speak. And to my surprise, my reflection suddenly spoke. I looked in the mirror one morning, and I couldn't believe my eyes. On the other side of the mirror was a boy who was half my size. His skin was soft and perfect. He had shiny and thick brown hair. I let out a yawn and saw that his teeth were white and all still there. I knew who he was right away. That nose and mischievous grin. Sadly, I thought, has it been that long since the day I looked like him? He looked like he hadn't been sleeping. You could tell from the red in his eyes. I could see that his belly was starting to bulge with chocolate and burgers and fries. Okay, this is getting quite silly. This must be some kind of joke. I started to speak, and to my surprise, my reflection suddenly spoke. What's What's going going on? on? Are you real, or is this just a dream? Is this some kind of joke or trick? Tell me, or I will scream. We spoke on top of each other, which was really quite the worst. I pointed at him and politely said, All right, you can speak first. The reflection asked how old I was. I'm ten, was my reply. That explains a lot, he said. Now here's the reason why. When I was you, I didn't know how soon I would be me. That mom and dad were always right, but I did not agree. What did they say? I asked myself. This sounded pretty bad. I always listened to my mom and sometimes to my dad. You always stayed up way too late. You're always in a rush. You hardly ever washed your face and never ever brushed. You never looked at healthy food, not even just a glance. You never ever exercise. I never stood a chance. I'm not at fault, I shouted, though I felt a bit of shame. You're the one who let us go. It's you who are to blame. You could have stopped the snacking. You could have exercised. I'm just a kid. I didn't know. You should have realized. He looked at me and said, You're right. This isn't all your fault. I could have started jogging more, laid off the sugar and salt. But the sooner we start good habits, the sooner they start to stick. To grow up happy and healthy, good habits will do the trick. He was making a whole lot of sense. I needed to look ahead. To avoid being him, when I grow up, I should listen to what he said. We decided to work together. A truce for both our sakes. I agreed to eat all my vegetables. He agreed to lay off the cakes. Every habit I promised to start, he promised to see it through. I brush my teeth, he get more sleep. That's what we decided to do. Then before my eyes, he changed. It was an incredible sight. His stomach got smaller, his arms got stronger, his teeth became gleaming white. He reached out his hand and I took it. We had learned our lesson, you see. That taking care of yourself today makes makes friends friends with with your your future future me. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please check out my dad's rhyming picture book, Lost Hallway, Where Do Lost Things Go? He also has a middle grade chapter book called Stitches in Time Travel. Both are available on Amazon. You can learn more at storiesbypeter.com where you can subscribe to our mailing list for the latest updates and news. See you next time!